Here's Johnny. Alex Ross, who's ready for blood and guts? You are so in luck. Uh, uh, I got an old buddy of mine. He's uh, Mark James. He's a very talented makeup artist and creature creator. He's here today. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together, please, for Mark James. Okay, a little bit louder. He's in the back. Mark James. Go, uh, Mark. one lawn over SVU and you're like, I've seen it all. <laughs> Happy birthday. You're welcome. <laughs> hey, Alex. Hey, dude. What's up, man? This, uh... You know, I'm not doing well. It's the holidays. You know, it's stressful for everybody. Right. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And then I got this thing going on now. Yeah. You know, things are not good for me. What's that all about? Yeah, yeah I'll tell you. I'll just tell you while I walk. <sighs> I've walked too far. I'll crawl. Just don't look at this, all right? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> I, uh, I was walking here and I fell. Oh, wow. I know, and then I got up and some kid stabbed me. Oh. Yeah, it was horrible. He was wearing like a, like a robe with green on it. He said something like, um, <laughs> and, whoa, whoa, hang on, hold up. No, it's not an interactive wand. It's Doesn't cheap. It's a cheap one. I should have known. You know, you can get them engraved for a nominal fee. <laughs> um, Alex? Yes. I'm gonna get some help from okay. the audience here. Um, if things go well, we'll do the show. If not, just step over me, all right? Okay. I need help. Come here. Take my hand. Uh, you've seen this movie. Say you'll never forget me. She's very good at this. And then come closer. I have to tell you a secret. My Wi-Fi password's one, two, three, four, five. And then in one last ditch effort to save my life, you give me mouth to mouth. <laughs> no, you're just you're walking away. <laughs> Sit down, right? You know, so I'm just gonna die. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I know. Not nice at all. Stepping into the new year on a bad foot, if I may say so myself. So I'm just gonna die here. No, don't care. You know her. You look upset about that too. It's alright, I'm gonna die now because of her. Are you cool with that? Great, alright. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Are you dead? Yup. The late Mark James, ladies and gentlemen. Hey! Hey, hey, Hello, everybody. Uh, just like Alex said, my name is Mark James. Uh, I'm a makeup artist, artist and creature creator. So basically, uh, it's my job to gross you out, freak you out, and scare the poo poo out of you. Yeah. I get to make happen every single day at the studios, and today I get to show you how I make some of that stuff happen. You guys excited? Yeah. Yes! Um, and if we have a few moments at the end of the show, I actually brought along a kid show project with me. We haven't been able to do this today. It's behind that red curtain. Um, it's gonna be, yeah. Yeah, yeah. this is what the crew yeah, was Yeah, yeah, we haven't about. done it yet. Yeah, yeah, and they were, they were like really upset. Yeah, it's really cool. It. Yeah, yeah, Why don't we great. start the show with this? Yeah, 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 no, 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 back, no, no, right? no, 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 Alex, don't touch it. I have to save it for the end. Yeah. It's gonna be fine, come here. Come here. I know it's like a Christmas. It happened. The old Broadway presents. Shiny. Wait, wait on this one. Um, what you're gonna do for me though is you're gonna go out there to the hordes of these humans, and you're gonna find me somebody who uh, whose family won't miss them. <laughs> okay. So we gotta find a, a volunteer, right? That's what we're okay. Doing. Volunteer. I see hands. Put oh, them on the down here. Pick out anything table. else you want. I'm gonna get the butt out, out of the fridge. Here. Just give them a little toss. <laughs> Oh, 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 I'm so sorry, Maria. Maria's that was terrible. What did you do? That was 
I'm so sorry, Maria. That was Maria terribly Cuff juvenile, here. totally immature. It'll never it'll happen, happen again. again. No. <laughs> Maria, here's the deal. For the rest of the show, you're actually going to be my assistant. So nothing else will happen to you. You just have to stand there and act like you don't trust me. Okay. She's very good at this. Um, you're going to do the hard part. Roll yeah. up your left sleeve oh. for me. Maria, party people, you're all probably wondering where we get all of our seven limbs from in the movies. Well, honestly, all you need is a really good friend and a sharp knife. Let's uh, do no, this. you shouldn't say anything about this in rehearsal. Get somebody else. Maria. <laughs> Hello, Maria! Um, I'm actually not going to cut you with this big, sharp blade. That would be crazy. Um, I am, however, going to cut you with this smaller, sharper blade. Okay? That's consent. Okay. Uh, let me see your hands real quick. Um, uh, I win. Okay, roll up this sleeve for me. Oh, look at that artwork for my wall. Great. Um, give me, like, a pump. Give me a pump. Okay, here's the deal, Maria. I'm going to cut your arm off. It's going to be crazy. Everybody's going to freak out. But you're gonna have to scream when I cut it off, all right? So we're gonna do a little scream test. I'm gonna count to three and you're gonna scream, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> that was that was mediocre. Uh, Maria, Maria, that was your warm-up, all right? All right, just like uh, just like uh, for your husband this time, ready? One, two, three! <laughs> that's that's yes. my ears right there, yep, okay. Nice temper. Great job, all right, Maria. Let's do this thing, you ready? Here we go. One, two, three! Wait. There were kids in the audience. You want me to cut a kid? <laughs> no. You need to speak to the children. You need to give them the safety tip. Yeah. Okay. I have to go talk to the kids, Maria. Yeah, thank you. Kids! All the blades you see up here and in the movies are fake. They're dull, or they're uh, uh, rubber and plastic, or they're dull, rubber and plastic, like the Kardashians. Oh. <laughs> Can you just gasp? Welcome. All of these gags are set up by professionals, and when they're not drinking, they do a very good job, so please oh do not try this at home. <laughs> yeah, try it in a friend's house. No. No, yeah. don't do that. It's bad. No. Right, Maria, uh, please just, can we see this on the big screen? All right, here we go. Everybody scream along. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, look at that. It's terrible. It's terrible. Holy moly. Oh, that's oh, like an oh, arm, dude. Wow. What? Wow. Pictures. Picture. Anybody here? Hello. Oh, your whole family has cameras out. I'm Gerald. Hi. Does it hurt, Maria? She's not screaming. A little bit? Yeah, she's in shock. Go ahead and cut it off. Oh! Ready? Ready? Ho ho! Leave her arm right there for me, Maria. You folks want to see how this gag? Yeah, yeah. You guys want to see how this gag is done? Retractable blade. It sits there right there in the handle. What you do is you run it over the arm like you're uh, playing violin or sawing off a limb. You move it, you move it, misdirection, misdirection, pull back. It looks like it went right into the arm. As for the blood, you get this blood bolt back here. In the movies, they're a little smaller. This one's a bigger one so you guys can see. Dull blade, fake blood, and Maria's completely fine! Yeah! Thank you, Maria. Thank you so much. Good job. You're regularly scheduled husband. Watch your step there on the way down. Wow, man, that was... That was intense. For Hitchhot, Psycho, or uh, Night of the Living Dead, those movies, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, those directors decided to film those movies in black and white. Unfortunately, the color uh, red in those movies comes out looking gray. Does anybody know what they used instead? Shout it out. Chocolate. Yes, chocolate syrup. It was gross and delicious. Mm -hmm. um, but we, like uh, in modern movies, like things to be a little more vibrant. Uh, me, personally, I like to uh, squeeze my fresh. Ooh, where'd you get that heart? Um, I got it on Amazon Prime. <laughs> Jeff Bezos was not using it. <laughs> so, so you fill it like a fake blood inside. Yeah, the yeah. Then you fill it with fake blood. You guys wanna, you guys wanna know how I make some fake blood? Yeah, yeah. yeah? All right, I'll tell you. Well, what you do is you take some corn syrup, a little bit of red food coloring, a little blue food coloring, a little creamy peanut butter. You gotta mix it all up. But you have to be so careful because this stuff will really stain your clothes. Hi, ma'am. Remember me? You could have saved my life. Why? Why would you let me die? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that was crazy. That was crazy. Here. No, 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 please. Step away from the human. I'm terribly sorry. Here, here's a, here's a towel for you. I'm, once again, I'm terribly, terribly sorry. That'll be 1995. <laughs> Welcome to Orlando. <laughs> Hold on to it, I'll get it in just a minute. Now, uh, you're going to tell us about the history of makeup artistry here. Yeah, absolutely. Actually, Universal Studios just celebrated 100 years in the horror business. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, it all started back in 1980. 
back in the 1920s with this guy right here, makeup pioneer Lon Chaney, also known as the Man of a Thousand Faces. Now, Lon Chaney was an incredible makeup artist who did all of his own makeup for a bunch of the OG Universal monsters, like um, the Phantom of the Opera and the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Now, Lon Chaney was not just an incredible makeup artist. No, he was also an incredible actor. I mean, this guy truly suffered for his craft. Uh, for instance, in The Hunchback of Notre Dame, he wore a harness and a 40-pound hump, which contorted his body so he couldn't even stand up in between takes. Now, Lon Chaney was also incredibly secretive about how he created his monsters. Much like a magician, he took all of them with him to the grave. He didn't even tell his son Dick. Dick Chaney. Yes, Dick Chaney. <laughs> that joke killed in 2004, I swear. No, but he did usher in the horror craze of the 1930s with this guy right here, Jack Pierce. Jack Pierce is the mastermind behind Universal's most iconic monsters, like the Wolfman, the Mummy, the Bride of Frankenstein, Lady Gaga, Elon Musk! <laughs> now Jack Pierce went to morgues in the middle of the night to work on dead bodies. Try explaining that to your wife. Yeah. Oh, there's Kanye West digging up what's left of his career. Oh my. Oh, this is Jack Pierce working on Boris Karloff's makeup for Frankenstein's monster, heavy combination of toxic grease paint, mortician's wax, and two Hershey kisses. Oh. Oh. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> that, that makeup took four hours to complete. That's nothing compared to this transformation, Boris Karloff's transformation in The Mummy. All that mud plaster bandages took eight hours just for ten minutes of screen time. Now, folks, Universal has had some, like, incredible monsters, but uh, we've also had some poop. Uh, this one's my favorite, though, the big brain alien from this island Earth. Come here, lady, I want to talk to you about your car's extended warranty! <laughs> Uh, now, everything changed in 1968 when John Chambers introduced foam latex in the original Planet of the Apes. Now, foam latex had not been used in... really loud. I, that loud, it scared me. I'm easily frightened, you know. I, I do know. Two seconds, I'm so sorry. Thank you for keeping time. Why didn't you touch my curtain? I didn't touch your curtain. Well, then why did the alarm go off? Uh, somebody threw something. I'm sorry, what? Somebody, somebody threw something? Like an audience member? That kid right there. What? This kid in the front yeah, row? Yeah, he flipped a cigarette at it. What? Oh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, just, uh, he said, I'll feel It's cool, I got it. I, 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 I just, it's cool. So you know, much it. just happened right there. Hold right. up, time out. This kid in the front row threw a cigarette at my curtain? Yeah, he was, you were over there talking. He was like, What? Wyatt? Hey, Wyatt. I actually believe you that you didn't do it. Um, Wyatt, where are you from? Mississippi? Actually, um, Wyatt from Mississippi, that actually kind of checks out. Oh, I see Travis, right? <laughs> Wyatt, um, here's the deal. Uh, are you having a fun day here at Universal Studios Orlando, Florida Resort? You are. That's great, Wyatt. Um, Wyatt, that ends now. <laughs> okay, Wyatt, for the rest of the day, Wyatt, I'm going to be watching you like a hawk, okay? Like a, like a, <gasps> Hey, Wyatt, don't laugh. This isn't Disney. I don't have to be nice to kids. Okay, Mark, yeah, listen, uh, uh, sorry, just step away from, step away from the kid. It's cool. We're, we're cool, right? It's so just, sorry. I just, I just, I hate kids. Yeah, we gotta be nice to them, right? <laughs> Kids with the Harry Potter stuff. Oh, yeah, really. Kids, I think for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I got this, I got this, yeah. I got this. Uh, you were over there. You were, uh, you were talking about Playtex. <laughs> <laughs> Latex. What? I was talking about latex. Yeah. What? Well, you said playtex. I said playtex? Yeah. That's entirely different. Very different. <laughs> Would you like to explain that to Wyatt? No, no, no. We're just going to Yes, I was talking about Planet of the Apes and latex and the different ways to bring monsters to life. Actually, in the most recent film version of The Mummy, they used a lot of latex and practical makeup effects to bring that monster to life. Beginning in pre-production, they actually create these things. These are uh, called conceptual drawings. Sometimes an artist paints directly on an existing photo of the actor. In this case, actress Sophia Battelle, the actress who played The Mummy in the movie. From those conceptual drawings, they create V. These are called sculpts. Uh, they're used as a reference to create latex appliances. Each one of these runic symbols you're going to see on her face were individually placed there using tweezers. This painstakingly, this painstaking process, uh, I mean, it took four hours to complete. And that's just from the neck up. Yeah, from the neck down, these large silicone appliances were created with a glue infused with ink. That way they were able to cover her whole body in them. When she walked out of that trailer, folks, she looked so good, people just fell down. <laughs> This is actual footage of how fast our team had to work together in a makeup. The project was sponsored by Red Bull, which does in fact give you wings. 
Now, Lucy Cork, Sophia stunt double scene right here in this next shot. Yeah, right there in the black shirt, not doing a stunt. Also had to undergo the process over a dozen times during the filming. It was crazy, but in the end, look at this. Wee, catch me! <laughs> Everything looks flawless, it looks so good. Um, I would be remiss if I didn't say that me, myself, all the makeup artists who worked on that movie, uh, every movie, um, we all stand on the shoulders of some incredibles who came before us. Um, I, for one, wouldn't be here without the one and only Rick Baker. Oh, Rick Baker, my goodness, what a name. The a legend in the industry. Absolutely. Uh, how many Academy Awards? Is, is so this guy is the greatest. Seven, right? seven Academy Award wins, 11 nominations, holds the record. He's retired now. Retired in 2007. Yes. Still holds the record. Uh, you would know his work. Uh, Ed Wood, Harry and the Hendersons, Men in Black. Oh gosh, Nutty Professor. Nutty uh, Professor, uh, The Grinch. Yeah, yeah, some incredible movies. But nothing is uh, as groundbreaking or as incredible as the movie that won him his first Academy Award. This movie right here. Kids, shout it out. What movie is it? Yes, E.T. He's back, he's pissed! <laughs> now, this is American Werewolf in London. This transformation you're looking at right there on the screen is actually so groundbreaking and so iconic that it won Rick Baker the first ever Academy Award for makeup. The category did not exist before this transformation. That's how groundbreaking this was. Yeah, that's right. They, uh, like Dick Smith had won a special Oscar for yeah, yeah. Big Man, but there never was never a, was a makeup Oscar until Rick Baker came along. Yeah. Listen, that transformation, that blew everybody away back in the 80s, right? Because yeah, it, it wasn't the, the uh, time-lapse photography thing that everybody saw, right? No, no, no. That was back in 81 before we started using computers. It would have looked like Minecraft. Yikes. So, um, come, come is, here. It, yeah. is it like the latex stuff you were Yeah, absolutely. There, there's a little more that goes to it. So uh, the first shot you see is actually this guy right here, David not in all of his foam latex appliances, but once his eyes start bugging out of his face, it transitions to these. There were seven of them. I have two of them here. Wow. Um, these are called change heads. Um, this is a fiberglass understructure. Wait for it. Wait for it. This is a fiberglass. There we go. A fiberglass understructure based off of David Naughton's face. Wow. Yeah, all these little cutouts here push the latex mask out. The real cool thing I just showed you will limit a director with budget or time constraints. So computers are used to speed the process along, beginning in pre-production before filming even starts to create these things. These are called animatics. It's just a fancy word for a placeholder. It gives the production team an idea of what the monster's going to look like and move like. Once they get into filming, um, they actually do motion capture right there. Sophia Battelle, the actress who played the mummy, actually did all of her own motion capture for the movie. She wore that suit with all those little dots on there. They were able to capture her body movements and facial movements in real time. And a digital artist on set was able to morph it for the director right there on set. Wow. Now, it's incredibly rare that the digital effects team and the practical effects team are in the same room at the same time. So we'll have to revert back to these original conceptual drawings, which I talked about first. Now. Computers are like an incredible tool, but only when it's combined with traditional makeup techniques, uh, great acting, great storytelling. Folks, only then do nightmares come true! I learned something every time he's here. Mark James, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Thank you for being here. Um, don't go away. Why? Daddy, how much time? Good, that much. Okay, well, all right, we've got a, a, quite a few minutes here. Uh, I'd love to see the project. Oh, you guys want to see my kid show project? Yes. Yes, all right. Um, uh, I need your help to speed this along. Sure, okay, can you... Um, can you put on this high voltage vest for me? That, uh, that what? Uh, can you put on this vest for me? No. Why, please? You, you said high voltage. No, I'm I was not, saying hi to the voltage vest. No, it's name is voltage. I'm going to song what by gonna get? Maria! Maria! Yes, let's get our favorite volunteer up here, shall we? Let's give her some traveling music, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for volunteering again, Maria. My goodness. Uh, listen, you've been such a good sport. Uh, Universal would like to show its appreciation. We'll give you and your husband a free three-day cruise. Brochure. Come here, Maria. Put this on for me. Hey, can you do me a favor and put yep. this on her hand? Thank oh, it's a so glove. The right one. Yeah, yeah. Um, Maria, I gotta ask you a question. Have you ever seen the movie Jurassic Park? Yeah, you know that time when the kid touches like the fence? Yeah? That's not gonna happen to you, okay? <laughs> I'm not. Okay, put your hand down to your side. You look like a blue Power Ranger. I love it. I love it, Maria. All right, you folks ready to meet my monster? Yes. Yes, put your hands together. Drum roll, please. I present to you, Eddie. 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 Yeah. Oh, man, that is a scary looking monster. Yeah. That's for a kid's show? Yeah, oh, I'm a kid's movie. Um, you all saw the live action Door of the Explorer movie that came out a couple years ago? Yes, this is for the sequel. Um, it had door learns to run muy rapido. <laughs> Spoiler? No bueno. Come here, Maria. Stand on my ex, I don't like her, so it's fine. Uh, Great. 
You are wearing a telemetry vest and a telemetry suit. This is the same technology they use in the original Jurassic Park movies to control the dinosaurs from off screen. When you move, my dinosaur, wolf, will move, all right? So uh, uh, here's the deal. It runs on electricity. So when I turn it on, you might feel like a, uh, like a, uh, like a, oh! Don't worry, Maria, you won't remember that. But when you wake up, your pants will be wet. Let's get a photograph. Okay. Everybody smile. There we go. All right. That's for the insurance. I'll turn you on back here. Great. Okay. Let's turn this on right here. Just keep your hands to your side. Give me two seconds. Oh, hey, Mark. Okay. Hey, one second, Maria. I'm so sorry. Yeah, one second. Hey, hey, get back. All right, Maria, um, raise that hand for me. Wow. Yep. Come on, take it for a ride. Take it down. Yeah, yeah. Bring it back up. Come on. Try that cross section. Come on. Oh. Oh. Oh, here we go. Sweet Caroline! I appreciate you, birthday girl, but everybody else wasn't great. We're going to do it one more time. Sweet Caroline! That was better. That was all you, Maria. Bring it up top. <laughs> Give me a wave. Hi, kids. It's me, Eddie. I live under your bed. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Hi, Wyatt. I live in your closet. Stop. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, hey, Maria, bring it down across your tummy. Photograph. Okay. Everybody smile. There we go. All right. That's for the insurance. I'll turn you on back here. Great. Okay. Let's turn this on right here. Just keep your hands to your side. Give me two seconds. Oh, hey, Mark. Okay. Hey, one second, Maria. I'm so sorry. Yeah, one second. Hey, hey, get back. All right, Maria. Um, raise that hand for me. Wow. Yep. Come on, take it for a ride. Take it down. Yeah, yeah. Bring it back up. Come on. Try that cross section. Come on. Oh. 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 Here we go. Sweet Caroline! I appreciate you, birthday girl, but everybody else wasn't great. We're gonna do it one more time. Sweet Caroline! That was better, that was all you, Maria. Bring it up top. <laughs> Give me a wave. Hi, kids, it's me, Eddie. I live under your bed. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Hi, Wyatt, I live in your closet. Stop. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, hey, Maria, bring it down across your tummy. You have a gyro in here. It's not something you eat, but when you take a bow, it will bow. Go on, bow. Yes, back up. Oh, put your hand to your side. I'm gonna turn you off back here. Turn this off right here. Yes, give it up yes. for Maria! Maria, ladies and gentlemen, let's get this thing off of you. And very gently. There you go. Maria, you've been such a great sport. Seriously, here's a little party gift. Somebody, uh, a picture of you and someone I'm sure you never want to see again. Uh, give it up for Maria, ladies and gentlemen, and her entourage. Thank you, Right there. Be very careful on the way down. I can't keep that applause going for Eddie the Monster. Yeah. Yeah. That's our show, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you! So smart and so Come on, man. It's not you? I get it. I get it. Maria, you good? Oh my gosh, I was so worried about it. I was like, I hope Maria gets back to her husband. <laughs> I was like, then I took care of it. And you know, I took care of it. I murdered it, Maria. I murdered it. For you. <laughs> you good though, Maria? Yeah. You good? You good? You good? I'm fine, Maria! Thanks for asking! Mark James, ladies and gentlemen. Alex Ross! Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Maria. Thanks, Ryan.